Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's alright today. It's Saturday, February 10th. Currently it's 53 degrees. High today is 60. 100% uh, chance of rain. And winds at 5 mile per hour. For the next, uh, I think, four more days, it's like 100%, two of them, and 90 or something, 95 one. And so it's going to rain for a while, uh, for sure. Uh, Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews will be today, everybody. So definitely check that out. It's always a great show. Um, got some real real neat stuff that we got, and it's they're healthy snacks as well. Um, so... Uh, also, what's for dinner tonight? We got, uh, there'll be a, a small uh, Kroger haul coming out soon. Um, I found, I looked in there, um, I'm trying to get in the habit of looking in their markdown section for frozen foods because they got some really great deals there. And we got some uh, Tyson Any Tizers, uh, what are they, chicken fingers, chicken fries, chicken fries, home style chicken fries. So we're having those tonight. Uh, waffle fries and salad our Super Bowl uh, meal is gonna be I don't know what it's called yet I'll have to ask Joy she's gonna make it it's she got a chuck roast and you, from what I understand you put coca-cola in it and whatever the other ingredients are and put it in a crock pot it sounds really good so that's that's what we're planning for the Super Bowl um, okay I've got a taste test today um, uh, it's unusual for me to have two in a row in, on the uh, morning coffee break, but I found these at Kroger's uh, as well yesterday, and I thought they would be a great thing to try, you know, on morning coffee break, something really good with coffee. And uh, you've seen the um, thumbnail by now, I'm sure. Uh, Inman's Baker's Delights, they were uh, buy one, get one free. And at Kroger, if you don't want to buy two items on the buy one, get one free, you can buy one, and they'll give it to you for half price. And I, I love that. Because lots of times I, we just don't need to or whatever it is. But anyway, the Inman's Baker's Delights Party Cream-Filled Cupcakes. I think I just put Party Cupcakes to make it a little shorter. But that's what they look like. And I don't expect these to really be good for you. because it's some, But it's something that, um, you know, I wouldn't eat very often at all. And I uh, wouldn't eat more than one for sure. But, um, you know... Uh, a treat's good every now and then. I've done really good uh, on my uh, sugar consumption. I've really cut it back uh, to near nothing, really. Uh, just whatever's in foods, I guess, uh, you know. But, um, so yeah, I don't really expect these to be uh, something that's really great for you, you know. So anyway, one cupcake is 200 calories. Uh, it's got uh, eight, uh, no, wait a minute. 10% of total fat, 13% saturated, no trans fat, no 3% uh, of cholesterol, 5% of sodium, 11% of carbs. It's got 44% of sugars. So see, just for one, that's that's a lot. Uh, calcium, 6%, and that's it on that. So just looking at this right now, I would give this like a a, a three. A three because you know for one little cupcake 13% of your saturated fat and 10% of your total fat plus 11% uh, carbs and 44% sugar so it leads me to give it a three out of five for uh, nutrition facts so huh, it says bimbo bakeries USA Horsham Pennsylvania bimbo bakeries make some for intermins or what <laughs> huh. so let's see I guess you just open it on the side here. Pretty sure. Open. Okay. There's what they look like. They're not very. They're kind of small that way. They're not very uh, thick. I guess you call it. Okay. It's supposed to be filled. Yeah. Okay, it's soft. Probably f pretty fresh because uh, they got that sale going on. I'm sure they're probably selling quite a few of them. So here we go. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, really fresh. Mmm. I hadn't turned this light on. Kitty's over there looking out the window. There, you can see better now. <laughs> Seem dark in here to warm them. Mmm. Okay. A little bit amount of cream in it. Mmm. Boy, these are great. Mm-hmm. See how they are with coffee. Mmm. Mm. May as well finish it. <laughs> They're very good. Just great with coffee. Mm. Okay. Definitely a five out of five for flavor. They're delicious, and that's very fresh. Um, yeah, I, that's the first time I'd seen those from Miniman's. They actually had quite a few different things. You know, they always have the little like pound cakes. They had about three or four different kinds of donuts. They had um, pies, like fried pies that had six in them. Everything looked great, but we didn't want to buy just, we just wanted to buy one. Um, so yeah, three out of five for the nutrition facts and five out of five for the flavor, uh, taste. And you know, it's okay to treat yourself every now and then. I've, you know, I've lost like eight, actually I was at nine pounds uh, yesterday and I must've got a little, gained a little, you know, back down to eight, eight lost, so. What am I doing with that? Eight lost. So I'm hoping I'm hoping to lose at least ten more. I'd love to lose at least ten more. Okay, here's uh, jokes of a day. Um, this one is uh, never on time. It's called passenger. What good is your timetable? The trains are never on time. Conductor. And how would you know they were late if it wasn't for the timetable? <laughs> This one is called Like the Moon with Little little Johnny. Teacher, what kind of wife would you like, Johnny? Johnny, I would want a wife like the moon. Teacher, wow, what a choice. Do you want her to be beautiful and calm like the moon? Johnny, no. I want her to arrive at night and disappear in the morning. <laughs> okay. Here is a fact Fact of the day. Fact of the day. How I'm getting hiccups, kind of y'all. Uh, how do you wish for peace in Sweden? You use the word Fred. Fred is the Swedish word for peace. Huh. Peace. Fred. It just don't seem like that would be the, the word for Fred for peace. Okay. Anyway. Now, where was I on the... I found a, oh, hold on just a second. I don't want to sit here and scroll for, okay. I thought this might be, you know, uh, something different. It's a trivia to test your knowledge on water sports and surfing. I, I've watched stuff on TV. I haven't really done any water sports, I don't guess, but I thought maybe it would be something that's more challenging than they had worried like yesterday. It kind of got, got ridiculous. They were so easy. Okay, this one says, what is the highest part of a wave called? Trow, T-R-O-U-G-H, barrel, crest, pipe. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna say crest. And that's right. The highest part of the wave is called the crest. The lowest part is called the trow. 
The wave height is the overall vertical change in height between the crest and the trowel, and the distance between the two successive crests or trowels is the length of the wave or wavelength. Okay. Where did modern surfing originate? Hawaii, New Zealand, Japan, Australia. You know, it's, it is big in Australia. And, you know, of course, Hawaii, too. I don't know about Japan and New Zealand. So it's either, in my mind, it's either Australia or Hawaii. Oh, my goodness. Uh, did the modern, where did modern surfing originate? Okay, my, my first instinction was uh, Hawaii. But I know it's going to, if I say Hawaii, it's going to be Australia. So let's use reverse, uh, whatever you want to call it, reverse brainer size, and I'm going for Australia. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I thought maybe if I'd, I'd reverse it again, I might get it because I've been getting them wrong. So I do that and it's still wrong. <laughs> it's Hawaii, what I first said. That's okay. Uh, the first surfing references were found in Polynesia. Then why didn't they say Polynesia? Uh, well, they're saying modern. Cave paintings from the 12th century show people riding on waves. <laughs> it's been around since uh, they made cave paintings of it. Uh, you know, like, oh, did it say hang 10 or whatever on the <laughs> wall? Okay. Uh, in the course of, the, of seafaring, Polynesians brought surfing to Hawaii and the sport went, sport went viral. <laughs> The cavemen brought him over. Uh, <laughs> Who is known as the father of modern surfing? Uh, Greg Knoll, Kelly Slater, Mika Dora, Duke Kahanamoku. Well, uh, my thinking on this, and because I really have no idea. But uh, my thinking on this, if they said modern surfing originated in Hawaii, and that, that Duke, or it's Duke, did I say Duke? Uh, Duke Kahana Moku uh, sounds Hawaiian to me, and, you know, just makes sense from what the last one was. Let's see. Duke. Yeah, so I was right. Uh, at the Antwerp 1920 Games, Hawaiian champion Duke Kahana Moku became the first swimmer to win the Olympic 100-meter freestyle twice, twice in a row. Having become a world-class swimming star, the Duke not only gave swimming exhibitions all over the world, but also introduced surfing to the masses. <laughs> Two right, one wrong. What was the name of the debut album of the Beach Boys? School Party? Uh, Safari in Africa? Let's go to the beach? Surfing Safari. I, I really don't, I'm really not sure what their first album was called, but I know they're into, definitely into the, you know, surfing. Uh, it had to do with a lot of their songs too and the stuff at the beach. So it's either Let's Go to the Beach or Surfing Safari, but Surfing Safari, it kind of, I kind of remember that name. I don't know if it was for this or something else, but we'll see. Surfing Safari. Yeah. The Beach Boys are an American rock band that formed in Hawthorne, California in 1961. Uh, the group's original lineup consisted of brothers Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson, their cousin Mike Love, and a friend Al Jardine. The Beach Boys' first album, sur album Surfing Safari, was released in October 1962. And it talks about more of their records after that. Relating to the sea... What could be spring or neap, N-E-A-P, and I don't know what that word means. Relating to the sea, what could be spring or neap? Spring or neap. Tides, currents, beaches, islands. Relating to the sea, there's a sea, not what could be spring or neap, N-E-A-P. Uh, gosh. Relating to the sea. I, uh, 
I don't really know. The first thing I kind of thought, I don't know why, was currents. Um, I'll go with that. I may miss. No, it's uh, tides. So I was in the right area, currents, tides. Uh, a spring tide, popularly known as a king tide, refers to the springing forth of the tide during the new and full moon. A neap tide, seven days after a spring tide, refers to a period of moderate tides when the sun and moon are at right angles to each other. So, definitely a teachable moment. All right, next question. I got three right and two wrong. Which Hawaiian island is home to the famous surf spot called Pipeline? And I've seen people, it, it kind of, I guess that's what it looks like. I've seen people actually, man, I don't see how they do it. I would be scared to death. Okay, uh, K-A-U-A-I, Kauai, I guess, the big island, Oahu, Ma Maui. I, you know, I've watched this, uh, you know, like, I don't know if it's documentaries or what about surfing. I've seen a lot of that. Um, uh, for some reason, I want to say Oahu. That's right. So I think, you know, probably I saw that. Um, you know, they probably said, they're having a surfing contest from Oahu, Hawaii, or whatever. You know, I'm not back in my mind somewhere. It was stuck back in there. <laughs> uh, the Bonsai Pipeline, or simply Pipeline, or Pipe, is a surf reef break located in Hawaii off I Ihu Kai Beach Park in Pupu Kia on Oahu's North Shore. That's enough. <laughs> what do you call a surfer that rides with his right foot forward? So, so they're saying you're supposed to put your left foot first forward like okay what do you call a surfer that rides with the right foot forward solid standard clumsy goofy well, you wouldn't say uh there's that clumsy surfer there's that goofy surfer but i have heard something about goofy why would it be called standard if that's the opposite way of most people, that most people do it, you wouldn't call it standard and you wouldn't call it solid. I'm going to say goofy. He's goofy footing out there or something, you know? I got it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know hardly anything about surfing and stuff, but you can just uh, narrow it down to what you think it is by thinking things about it like I just did. Um Okay, there are two types of stances in surfing, regular and goofy footed. Yeah, so that's kind of what I said. Regular stance means that the surfer stands with their left foot forward, which is probably makes sense for me. Maybe if you're left-handed, you would do it the other way, I guess. While goofy footed stance means the opposite, with the right foot forward. The term goofy footed surfer has been around for decades, but its origin is somewhat uncertain. And I think I've actually heard that sometime. It may have been 20 years ago. I don't know. I just got, you know, little tidbits, you know, that float around in my brain, I guess. <laughs> Next question. That's five right and two wrong. Okay. Okay. I, I think I know this. In the film Apocalypse Now, and everybody has, might have seen that, uh, What Military Superior Loves Surfing? Uh, just a great, great movie, you know. Uh, it really is. Um... So, so which military superior loves surfing? Lieutenant Colonel William Bill Kilgore, Colonel Kurtz, General Corman, Captain Willard. I remember the thing about the surfing, and it wasn't Colonel Kurtz was the one um, played by Marlon Brando that was crazy, you know, uh, did a great job as a matter of fact. And I, I, it was um, Robert Duvall, if I'm not mistaken, it was Robert Duvall, and he wore like a cowboy hat, like a cavalry type, type cavalry type hat. And I remember him; there was bombs going off and everything, and they were like, "We, we can't surf in this like this." And he's like, "This is the only time that wave's gonna, the wave's gonna be here." 
you know, or the waves or whatever. And they said, you get out there. And they got out there and there was <laughs> bombs landing in the water. Uh, you know, mortars, I guess, and stuff. Um, but I can't remember if it was Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore or if it was, um, I don't think it was a general, though. It's either Captain Willard or Lieutenant Colonel William Bill Kilgore. Uh, I kind of think it's the first. Yeah, I got it. I've seen that movie probably, I don't know, six times. Uh, Apocalypse Now is an intense and literally explosive 1979 war film written by John Milius and directed by Francis Coppola. At a certain point in, that, in the movie, Captain Willard, Martin Sheen, uh, see, so that's Captain Willard, it was Martin Sheen. He was, a, one, he was like uh, not wanting to do it, I don't think. Uh, uh, meets Gunner's mate, Lance B. Johnson, a blonde former pro surfer from Southern California. Yeah, that guy was, he wanted to see him surf because he was a, a pro surfer. The, the, uh, they rendezvous with Lieutenant Kilgore, I'll just say, Robert Duvall, I got that right. Another enthusiastic surfer and a group of wave riding fanatics begin to take shape. Uh, in one of the most striking and Homeric moments of Apocalypse Now, the helicopter attack destroys a VC village. When the troops land, Kilgore orders Lance and his men to surf the local waves. So, yeah, there was a war going on right there. Six right, two wrong. Which of these phenomena may cause a tsunami? Low atmospheric pressure, earthquakes, high atmospheric pressure, tropical storms. I think a lot of people will know this one. I really do. Um, and, you know, we've seen it happen. It happens in Japan. Uh, seems like it's happened quite a bit there. <clears throat> if you've ever seen one of those films on, on YouTube or anything, it's just awful. It'll destroy a city, you know. But it's from earthquakes. That's right. Uh, the word tsunami comprises the Japanese word su, meaning harbor, and nami, meaning wave. A tsunami is a series of enormous waves created by an underwater disturbance, usually associated with earthquakes occurring below or near the ocean. Okay. Okay, we got one more. In shipping, what is the opposite of leeward? I don't know what leeward is, but uh, leeward, what is the opposite? Outward, portward, Homeward, windward. Okay. Leeward. I know there's a port, right? There's a like an aft. I'm not. I'm not for sure of all the uh, words, you know, for that for the stuff with boats. But to me, port. I know port is one of the words, so I'm going to say portward. Nope. It was windward, and I was thinking that. You know, but I didn't say anything about it, but I was thinking it was either that, portward, or windward. Leeward, also known as lee, leeward is the direction opposite to the way the wind is currently blowing, windward. The direction in which the wind is currently blowing. Okay. Windward is the opposite of leeward, the opposite direction of the wind. Sailboats tend to move with the wind, making the windward direction an important sailing term to know. I learned something there. So I got uh, seven right and three wrong i could have got those others if i hadn't uh, thought about it too much if i had just gone with my first uh, instinct but i was it was like every time uh, i was saying it was one thing and it might be another it was always the other so i switched it and it it didn't work that time so <laughs> so anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this morning coffee break if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Get you some of them Inamins Baker Delights Party Cupcakes for the Super Bowl. I think everybody will like them, and they're half price. Or they're buy one, get one free if you want to buy two. Um, buy one, get one free at Kroger. And I guess that's until their sales go through uh, Tuesday. So uh, today's Saturday. you got plenty of time if you want something for your sweet tooth during the Super Bowl or, or whatever. 
So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Check out Logan's awesome snack reviews tonight. We decided to do it today uh, because of the Super Bowl tomorrow. So um, I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you later on. God bless.